Hello YouTube, it's Beatrice Gaming Scotland here and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are well and gaming lots. So in today's video, we'll be looking at the gaming news of the last week. So before we get into the video, let me know your thoughts down below of the topics being discussed in today's video. That being said, let's jump into the gaming news of the last week. So we had the biggest news, I think, in a very long time. The Last of Us 2 has leaked all over the internet. There will be no spoilers in this video and please be aware of comment sections in Last of Us 2 forums as the spoilers are out there. But Naughty Dog have been been striking down YouTube videos and channels that have been posting the spoilers here on YouTube. I'm just saying be very mindful of any potential spoilers. The spoilers are probably still out there. I've personally not seen any and yeah just try and avoid spoilers at all costs. I want to try and still go in fresh to the game. But in saying that though Last of Us 2 has got a new release date of June 19th which is only a few more weeks from the original 29th of May release date so that means Ghost of Tsushima has also got a new release date of July 17th so that's two new release dates on the back of some really terrible spoilers. As I said, I've not seen any, I don't want to see any, so please just be mindful of that if you're wanting to know more about The Last of Us, just please be mindful. So yeah, so next up then, second bit of news is about Xbox. Obviously this is a PlayStation focused channel, I won't cover much information to do with Xbox or Microsoft, as I want the Xbox, Microsoft channels here on YouTube to cover that, as personally I don't have a lot of knowledge or experience with the Xbox brand. But in saying that though, basically there's a new event that has been announced from Microsoft on May 7th, which is going to be focusing on third party games on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. So this has something related to PlayStation so that's why I'm covering this event and there's going to be new next generation games going to be announced on May 7th. There's going to be a lot of third party games and potentially there's going to be a lot of PlayStation 5 games from third party developers which you are most probably going to be aware of and then one of them potentially could be the new Assassin's Creed as that has just been announced. It's called Assassin's Creed Valhalla and it's to do with Norse mythology and Viking Vikings invading the UK shores whereas the English people are the bad guys in this game. Personally I've not played a lot of Assassin's Creed in the past. This does look really fun and interesting but the, this will probably be full of microtransactions and this will probably have a lot of additions like the previous games in the series so just bear that in mind. Now someone asked on Twitter when the PS5 reveal event is going to be happening. Now allegedly this is just a rumour but Jason Schreier who's a big video game journalist and has a lot of insider knowledge is saying it's going to be a few more weeks away before Sony reveal their next generation console or get some more information out there so I'm thinking around June time potentially June the 4th but that could obviously change with this current climate so just bear that in mind that's potential rumour but from what I've seen on Twitter and other articles this is leading to a potential PS5 reveal event in June at the start of June that could be wrong but and finally if you know Jeff Keighley the host of the video game awards has also announced a gaming event called the summer game fest taking place in May and it's going to be continuing to August 2020. It's an industry wide celebration of video games so it's going to be a four month rollout of news, announcements, playable demos of upcoming games, interviews, panels and more from leading devs and publishers. So just a few names here. So we've got 2K, Activision, Bandai Namco, Bethesda, Blizzard, Bungie, CG Projekt Red, EA, Playstation, Riot Games, Square Enix, Steam, Warner Brothers and Xbox. And a couple other game companies and devs will be there as well. I'm assuming that's going to be a sort of online digital live stream type event but there's going to be a lot of other gaming websites like Games Radar and IGN doing their own news and coverage of said event so that has been quite a quick gaming news video so we had obviously the leaks of The Last of Us 2 all over the internet but we've got two new release dates for The Last of Us and Ghost of Tsushima which if I, I think I've mentioned it but just to be aware so the new release date for The Last of Us 2 is June 19th and the new release date for Ghost of Tsushima is July 17th we've obviously got the new Assassin's Creed Valhalla announced for PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and Xbox One. Xbox new event on May 7th focusing on third party games for Xbox Series X and PS5. Sony's event is going to be hopefully in a few more weeks, potentially at the start of June. A lot of people online are saying June 4th but that could change obviously with the current climate. And Jeff Keighley, the host of the Game Awards, is making their own event called the Summer Game Fest running from May to August and it's going to be showcasing four months of news announcements, playable demos games, interviews, panels and more from all the big publishers and gaming companies. So let me know your thoughts down below. This video will contain no spoilers of The Last of Us 2. Please don't spoil it in the comment section for other people that might want to watch this video. Please don't or I'll have to go in and delete the comments or what have you But because I want to go in fresh and I'm sure a lot of other people want to go in fresh. But anyway guys, let me know your thoughts of the topics being discussed in today's video. That being said, that is the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Patreon Gaming Scotland and I'll see you on another video. Thanks very much.
very much indeed guys, bye bye.